you ready? Okay, what we're going to do is balance Rick and Randy's flywheels. We have to build the motor over, so we're, we want everything perfect and smooth. I'm really fussy about that. So first thing I do is I wash the parts, and I start weighing everything. I weigh the rods each end. I weigh the pistons, any little screw, anything attaching the flywheel. And there's two things you're after. One is reciprocating weight, and the other is rotating weight. There's formulas, and I go through, and it looks like hen scratching, but went through and I weighed every little piece. Then you add it together, you multiply, and ultimately you you multiply by 60%. That makes about 60 miles an hour, 60% of the weight. You split it by two. That's each wheel you have to make a bob weight. So you're simulating the weight by installing a bob weight. It'll make sense as I show you. I weigh everything by, they have a, a beam scale that I used to use a lot there, and uh, it's all good. It's stuff that has nest cells, but I last oh, six, eight years I went to a digital, very fine digital scale. Very expensive. Years ago it cost me $650 to give you an idea of the cost. And you have to have one way better than any mail house, say like your uh, US mail. Not sensitive enough. This one goes so, so fine that you can throw a hair on it and weigh it. And that's how you get them good and follow through. So I went through, I weighed up your rods on each end, finding what the weights are, on each end of your rod. Then I got the pistons. I weighed the pistons each. I weighed the wrist pins each, the keepers, the rings, everything individually. Then I put them on this paper, and down the line, of course, you double the numbers, and you come up with a formula. That's called weighing. So when I got my bob weight numbers, I go ahead and I take this unit, it's called a bob weight. And I make it weigh exactly uh, right here. 1168.7 grams and uh, what I do because I'm kind of finicky is these little shims I went to use this one found out he was too heavy I cut him up I took paper and put it in there because I want that number perfect exact to that number I just like doing it that way because I've built lots of engines in my life a lot of them everyone's been smooth as silk apparently that's the right way to do it so that's where you keep doing it Next part is we're going to attach this bob weight onto a flywheel. And you do each flywheel, of course. What this does is simulates mass going down the road about 60 miles an hour, perfectly smooth. That is what the simulation is here. Put the taper in there. You screw it together and spin her down so she's tight. A little bit, you don't get carried away tightening, just a little bit with a wrench so it don't wiggle. My bob weight is set up. Very heavy in one spot, but when I'm done balancing it, I'll be able to put this wheel any place it wants and it'll sit still. That's when you know you got a good job. Next thing I have to do is find a correct arbor. And I have to look and see which one it is. I believe it's this one here. It's been a couple of weeks, so I have to re remind myself. Oh, it's up here. It should be this one here. It goes on to here. Because you've got to suspend the wheel. One end fits on here, like a so. One end goes on there. Pretty sure got the right ones. I'll recheck this here in a minute just to make sure. So I don't want to mess up. Something like that. I'll have to go over this make for plus. If that's a Sportster, Sportster, Spacer, Big Twin Sprocket. This one, this may actually be the right one. 
Yeah, it's much shorter when we use this one. But that's the idea. You have to balance it with these parts on it. Yeah. Let's see where that goes. All this stuff has been bought from SNS Cycle. That looks better. If it screws on all the way. Once you go on here, it's like a counterweight for for when you uh, put on the parallels. Okay, I should set up something like that. Okay, I guess that's about it for right now till we get into on the parallels and actually boring. So that's pretty much it.